Hi guys, so the Home Secretary Priti Patel has decided to appoint the former head of an anti-tax pressure group, one I highlighted in another video a few weeks ago. His appointment throws into doubt the whole concept of civil servants being politically neutral. Jonathan Isaby is an ex-chief executive of the Taxpayers Alliance, the organisation founded by Matthew Elliott, which also founded groups that campaigned for Brexit, supported privatisation of the NHS and are advocates of zero-hour contracts, just to name a few. Isaby announced his appointment on Twitter. He said, Delighted to share that this week I have taken up the job in the civil service as communications private secretary to the Home Secretary Priti Patel in her private office at the Home Office. Excited to get started in the new role. The Labour Party attacked the idea, saying that the Home Secretary was desperate for a new spin doctor, while the Liberal Democrats accused the Tories of replacing meritocracy with chumocracy. This raises serious questions about the dividing line between government and the civil service. It's important for the latter to be as apolitical as possible, as they are expected to carry out the policy in a neutral and non-discriminatory manner. Isabi was an editor for Brexit Central, which is a pro-Brexit news website founded by Matthew Elliott, one of the architects along with Dominic Cummins behind the campaigns to leave the European Union. The website's mission statement says its goal is promoting a positive vision of Britain after Brexit. We saw during Dominic Cummins' time in number 10 that he attempted to hire his own people and place them in significant positions of power. It seems that Boris Johnson's administration are copying this approach. If you control the civil service, then you control the watchmen. Remember, the civil service are supposed to be the last line of defence against a corrupt or overreaching government. However, as with Parliament, Boris Johnson and his government are treating the civil service as an extension of number 10. They feel that a strong civil service would resist some of their attempts to undermine democracy and remove the checks and balances placed on government. To give you a taste of what Isabi is like, listen to his ideas about what would happen in Ireland post-Brexit. This was recorded back in 2017. It's worth remembering is only that Ireland only joined the European Economic Community because we joined, and I do wonder whether in due relevant? course... Well, no, I wonder in due course when Ireland sees the UK thriving after Brexit, whether they may actually <laughs> say, perhaps we should follow you. It's worth remembering. So unfortunately, the, the quality of the video is not great and it was cut off at the end. But he said, when Ireland starts to see the success of Brexit and sees how Britain is benefiting from Brexit, that Ireland will leave the European Union as well. Now, he was being laughed at here, but he's deadly serious. He's part of this organization, the Taxpayers Alliance, um, which was set up by, which was co-founded by someone including um, Matthew Elliott, who's a, a Eurosceptic, um, who funded other, who started other uh, organizations like Business for Britain, Conservative Friends of Russia, Big Brother Watch, No to AV, uh, and I've talked about this before, and of course, Vote Leave. Uh, he was um, the chief executive of Vote Leave. These people want to convince you to vote against your own interests. These people are not interested in making Britain a better place for British people. They're interested in making better Britain a better place for billionaires and millionaires and, co and corporations, basically. It's about stripping away protections for the environment, for workers, um, for food standards, for example. That is what they're about. They are astroturf groups. They're not real grassroots movements. They are funded by dark money, but also funded by um, big businesses or rich individuals who want their policies implemented in government. And they're invited on, unfortunately, onto news channels like Sky News or uh, the BBC even to promote their opinions, to promote their ideology, which is about smaller government, reduced protections for the poor, the working class, uh, for workers, for example, and more money going to business interests, lowering taxation to help businesses, not to help the individuals. That's what they're all about. And unfortunately, now this man has a foothold in government because he's now been appointed to a senior position in the Home Office. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think about all of this. 
As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot. I want to say a big, big thank you to all of my patrons. You ensure that this channel continues to exist. I'm eternally grateful for all of your support. If you join Patreon, you will receive instant access to our Discord server, where we have both audio and video chats. You can chat with me and other patrons, where we discuss important and non-important issues. Becoming a patron per month costs about the same as a large coffee. So why not check it out?